Rückzug, sofort! Volltreffer! Your competition has been royally banjaxed. Those supply trucks shan't trouble you again. All is fair in business as well as war, no? To be honest, sometimes I cannot tell the difference. I'll have those papers now. Ah, yes, uh, the papers. I'm afraid we have a very tiny problem there. It's a trivial matter. A small additional payment should cover it. What's this bollocks? We had a deal. Yes, of course. However, the price of forged papers has gone up. I blame it on the bad economy. Too many rules, too many soldiers with guns. How do they expect an honest man to make a living in this city? I'm just about at the end of my rope, Santos. Tell me how much it'll cost to get those papers. If I don't like the number, they're gonna be fishing you out of the river with a fucking boat hook. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Just bring me the money. Then go get yourself laid, Irishman. It's not healthy walking around with all that pent up aggression. You see, that wasn't so hard, was it? Here are your new travel papers. Just show them to the guards at the Nazi checkpoint. These had better be the real McCoy. Why would I want to get you killed, Irishman? You are my best customer! make things seem not so bad. I'm here to deliver a message from Luke. Save your breath. I don't know you from Adam, and I won't discuss business with strangers. For I know you could be talking to the Gestapo. No, but I'm sure they'd love to have a chat with me. If you want to deal with us, you'll first have to prove you can be trusted. All right then. What'll it take to convince your people that Luke and I are on the level? Excuse me, young man. Is that how you address a lady? I don't believe I caught your name. I... Uh, Sean Devlin. Begging your pardon, ma'am. And I am the Lady Margot Bonaire. I've heard of you, Irishman. Tell me, are these stories true? I suppose that depends on who's talking. The Germans are talking, Monsieur Devlin. The local authorities have taken a great interest in your activities. How would you know that? One of my people placed wiretaps on the phones at the local Gestapo headquarters. Must be a clever chap. Indeed. Joseph Breuermann is one of our most valuable agents. 
Last night he was arrested. I fear he will not hold out long under questioning. He is not a brave man. What if I were to make other arrangements for this man, Bryman? Would that settle your doubts as to me and my friends? Yes, but it won't be easy. Bryman is being held under close watch. You may need to create a distraction, a explosives perhaps. Aye, or a disguise. Yes, in the right uniform you could walk yourself right out of the detention. But if the guards suspect an escape, they will kill you both. Don't you worry, ma'am. I'll bring your boy home in one piece. I need to borrow your car. There's our man now. Ich 
the one who helps. So what's a German like you doing working against his own side? They are not my side. Under Nazis, the blood running through my veins is a death sentence. How did you get into this game? I was studied as a radio engineer at Heidelberg. My family fled when the Nazis seized power. I ended up here. And so you joined the French resistance? It seems the only sensible thing to do. Sensible? <laughs> That's rich. We are men without countries, you and I. But not men without souls, yeah, Irishman? If you say so. 